up guys, this is E.T. Zombie, back again tonight with another video. Tonight's video is all about the Lost Vape Triad DNA 200. Alright, so first off, I bought mine at eSiggity.com. They are $155 on the site, but if you use the coupon code 10% off, it'll take $15 off. Uh, so I actually got it for $140. Um, again, it's a DNA 200 device, uh, temp control, does nickel, titanium, stainless steel, has TCR settings, you can do all that. I e-scribe, customize it however you want, it's a triple 18650 device run in series, alright, goes from 100 degrees, or 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius and 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, um, the body of the device is made out of a die-cast zinc alloy and has leather uh, battery doors that come in four different colors, which are black, yellow, or black, brown, red, and yellow. Um, it has a spring-loaded, nickel-plated brass 510 pin, uh, stainless steel 510 connection, stainless steel threads. It has USB. It has a USB port that does pass-through charging and is for uh, firmware upgradable. But uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to turn the camera around and we're going to go up close with the Triad DNA 200. Alright, what's up guys? So here we are up close with the Lost Vape Triad DNA 200. So it comes in this nice leather uh, case. Lost Vape there. Evolve DNA 200 and there's a red sticker. Alright. There's a Triad logo, and it says Triad, has these magnetic flaps, alright, and inside sits your device, you have a user manual, a uh, micro USB cord, and then in sits your device, pull that out, and there it is, zoom out a little bit, so yeah, there is the device, very nice device, very well made, very high quality. There's that beautiful stainless steel 510 connection. I mean, it is just an awesome 510 connection. Very high quality. Stainless steel threads. There's that nickel plated brass spring loaded 510 pin. Now, this here, and I believe this also is that die cast zinc alloy material. Alright, here's some battery venting. On the bottom, you got Triad DNA 200, manufactured by Lost Vape, designed in USA. Now, when the batteries are in, uh, it's kind of like in, it's off, but to power up the device, you just hit the power button one time, powers up, Lost Vape, alright, and there's that beautiful DNA screen, which I just love, uh, this is my first DNA device, and, uh, I just love that screen. There's your battery indicator, your ohms, your voltage, your temp, and your wattage. Alright, so, uh, I haven't gone, I haven't really messed with eScribe too much yet. I wanted to get in there and change the settings to where I could do a 5 click on, 5 click off. Because right now, the only way to turn the device off is if you just don't do anything and you just let it go, the screen will slowly power off. It'll fade out after about 10 seconds. And then about 30 seconds after that, it completely powers off, all right? But to power back up, you just hit the power button once. And uh, it does go down from 1 watt all the way to 200 watts. Scroll sc scrolls pretty fast. All right, 1 watt. See how it slows down that? See how it slows down there at certain points? It's kind of weird. But uh, to switch your temperature settings, what you want to do is you want to lock it. So you hold the minus up and down button. All right, and while it's locked, you hit one of them twice, and there you can switch between your stainless steel. So you got stainless steel 430, stainless steel 316L, stainless steel 316, stainless steel 304. Nickel 200, Canthal, Preset 1, which is a stainless steel 430, Titanium. And then again, you could go into the eScribe and customize this however you want. You could have your custom screen when you first turn it on. 
Uh, you could do a lot of things with the eScribe software. Uh, this is my first DNA 200 device, so I'm just getting into it. So I still have a lot to do or a lot to learn as far as that goes. But uh, there's that leather. Very nice. I did scratch it a couple times a little bit, but overall it's very, very nice. And apparently, the from what I've seen other people's devices, the leather patinas. Alright. So you pop the battery door off. It's held in by magnets. There's a triple 18650s running series. You got two uh, positive down, negative up. Here's your spring loaded, gold plated uh, connections. On this one, it's positive up, negative down. There's your pull tab. Alright, and the battery door just snaps back into place. Alright. Alright, so I haven't really used this in temp control mode too much, but uh, if you go ahead and lock the device, hit the uh, fire button five times. Alright, and then hold the down and up button and hold it to change the temp. And then let go, and then you can go ahead and adjust your temperature. Alright, it goes up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, and let's see here to get out of that. Well, I'm not exactly 100% sure. Five clicks, but uh, it goes back into wattage. Alright, I still, I still got a, a little bit yet to learn with this, but uh, if you want to see a full uh, in depth, uh, DNA, you know, video, there's lots of videos out there, but, uh, I really like this device, it's beautiful, um, also, eSig.com has them for $125, however, when I went to go buy mine, it was out of stock, so they might be back in stock now, uh, but again, eSig, Sigity with the coupon code comes out to $140, so it's only $15 more, um, really nice device, guys, alright, so, if you want to see, I'm going to throw a 25 millimeter atomizer on here and see what it looks like. So there it is. There is no overhang. It's just beautifully flush. So you could easily uh, fit probably a, th a 30 on here with hardly any overhang. Alright, so I'm going to take that off. I'm going to do a couple uh, size comparisons. Alright, so here it is next to the RX200. Right up top, it's about the same dimensions, except on this one, instead of 510 being on the front, it's more or less in the middle. Alright. Pretty much the same dimensions. However, the battery doors do not fit each other. See how it is a little bit different on the sides. On the bottom, it's basically the same as well. Alright. Really nice. And then here it is. Next to the iStick 200 watt, which is that real low style again, except more longer and a longer uh, way. There it is. Alright. Very nice. Alright, guys. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my Eagle Geek Vape Eagle tank on here. We're going to go outside, vape on it, talk on it a little bit more, and wrap this up. All right, what's up, guys? So here we are outside with the Lost Vape. Jesus Christ, fucking bug! <laughs> with the Lost Vape uh, Triad DNA 200, uh, I got my Eagle uh, Subone Take Geek Vape Eagle Subone Take out here. I got a dual Canthal uh, fuse clapped in here, coming out at 0.13. I'm rocking at 80 watts. Let's have a vape. Vape's beautiful. Juice, so good. Uh, mitten vapors, mitten milk, strawberry custard, good stuff. Twenty-five dollars for a um, 120 milliliter. They have lots of giveaways on Instagram and Facebook. Go check them out. I also have a, um, a video on my channel for uh, this juice. If you want to check that out as well. But uh, yeah, guys, I love this device. Again, it's my first DNA 200 device. I love it. It's it's just power. It's quality. Uh, vape great. good battery life. I mean, it's awesome. I'm gonna take a couple more vape vapes here and wrap this up. <sighs> All right. What? 
thanks for watching guys I truly do appreciate it if you like what I'm doing go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already feel free to share my videos feel free to comment um, feel free to connect with me on social media I have links in the description to my Facebook Twitter and Instagram accounts uh, join CASA and donate whatever you can to the right to be smoke free coalition I also have a link to them uh, you know donate for their lawsuit against the FDA we need to beat these guys uh, we need to not have them Jesus Christ <laughs> regulate uh, vapor products as tobacco products what the fuck is that thing do you see this shit holy god damn that's a fucking I thought it was a giant bee for a second it's a fucking cicada anyway I'm gonna get out of here before I get attacked by some shit um, anyway uh, yes I was thrown off by that, but I'm going to have one more and wrap this up. Peace, guys.